Today I'm going to be showing you the basics about Adobe Premiere. Let's do this. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I make daily videos about content creation in the digital space, whether it be photography, graphic design, or filmmaking, anything that has to do with creating content, we're gonna be building a community together. So I wanna show you guys the basics, the basic tools of Adobe Premiere, the things you need to know to get by doing your first edit, or maybe you've edited other programs, I'm just gonna teach you how to edit properly in Adobe Premiere so that way things run smoothly. We're not gonna be going everything about Adobe Premiere, just the basics, just the things that to make sure that you could succeed during your first couple edits. Let's do this. Okay, we're back and I still look like a crazy person. So let's look at the basic tools we need in Adobe Premiere and understand what's going on. So first things first, if you use large video files, I would go in here and play around with the different resolutions and playback resolutions. So that way everything runs smoothly based off your computer. So let's look at these tools, the gummy tools, right? This is your razor blade. This is gonna be your best friend. And the hotkey for that is actually is V, which is when you press it on the computer, it automatically goes through. And if you want your mouse back, anytime you use any of these different stuff, you're gonna press C. So we use V and then we cut. But look how we like get to cut each individual one. That's getting kind of annoying, but don't worry about it thing so we're gonna have this clicked on which is the link selection tool so you see how my how none of this stuff is linked well what you do especially you have different audio sources this is not properly linked so keep that in mind what you do is you would highlight whatever you want linked and you link it together and then they're always simultaneously together this is super important because you want to make sure that you have your things always linked up and selected. Now, if you unselect this, it's going to go back and forth to however you have it moved. It's such a key thing. So another thing you can do too, if you don't want to just splice it up, let's have this selected. We almost messed up there. If you want to have it spliced, you can also select the clip you want. And then this little hover tool allows you to cut and eliminate the rest of the parts. That's kind of cool. It's a cool, neat little feature to go on a quick run, but let's say you have this over here and you wanna get rid of this and you just press backspace or you press clear. You wanna right click and press ripple delete. And that basically what that's doing is that's moving the entire project with all the different cuts we may have, right? Together with one single piece. Ripple Delete. You see how everything moves there? Now I'm gonna teach you something about Ripple Delete because Ripple Delete is really amazing, but it can also hurt you at the same time if you're not careful. Let's use the on selection tool. And let's say we're not, we don't have a perfect cut. We're gonna do a Ripple Delete, but we have kind of like this inconsistency with our audio. Everything's not lined up. Look what happens. It just shifted everything. Isn't that kind of crazy? Even things unsync. Just be careful when using Ripple Delete that everything is kind of nice and neat because it, it can get kind of ugly sometimes. Now, what are the other tools of Adobe Premiere? Now, we're going to go in and learn each individual tool. We're actually going to go from the bottom up. So, we're going to use our text tool. And I actually like using the text tool now on Premiere before it was so bad. So, you click on there and then you just type whatever you want. Let's just put test. Once you do test, you go to the effects and then all of the information you need to play around with your text is right in here. We can make that in the middle, spread out the text, scale it up. You see how that works. Now let's use our hand tool. All hand tool just basically allows us to move it on the timeline. It's just the same thing as using this guy over here but it's a little more detailed and fine-tuned and not as quickly to move. The pen tool is really interesting because it's a very versatile tool that allows you to click for, say, want to adjust the audio on the audio tracks, you can adjust the audio and do some fade-ins and fade-outs. But now if you want to do the same thing with the opacity, you can do that too. Just bring it up and down, and then we can make some adjustments. Go crazy. Do these like weird little, like, whoop, 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 you know? Just some fun little movements there. And this is actually a time stretch tool to like rechange the movement of the position. This is of course the razor blade tool that we were using before. This is a rip or delete tool, just like how I taught you earlier. And this is our track selected forward tool. And, and there's actually a lot of different ways you would use that, but basically you're moving the entire piece with it. You see how that works? Yeah. 
it just allows you to be more fine to it. And this is just your general selection tool. You see that? But this really allows you to grab everything that you need to grab correctly. And of course, you can use these tools other ways and other methods, but it's just the way I use them. And the bet, like if you're just getting started the way I would recommend using them just so you can get your feet wet. And that's basically the basic tools you need in Adobe Premiere. But now let's talk a little bit more about the basics. Ooh, okay, we're saving the project. Sometimes you can have autosave set up, which I love to do, um, but it should automatically have an autosave every 15 minutes. But if you have here, you're gonna see that. You see how we had the audio change from that ripple delete? Yeah, it's a big issue. But let's see if we have an audio change, we can go here. And also the audio doesn't, is not properly synced. You can go to cross, and this is a beautiful tool to allow you to use different cross transitions. Look at that, it's like a little ghosting effect and transitioning different scenes and stuff like that, which is actually quite beautiful. And then you can do constant power too, which allows you to use as a fade tool from different audio sources to have nice and clean audio. Another thing you can do too, if you wanna you know, do a cross off into darkness it's like a nice little fade out that's like actually really easy to use i use it all the time because it's just so easy it's just like you can't get you just if it's easy why not you know and then exponential is actually an exponential fade it's different than the cross fade so the cross fade it's more like well the exponential is like so it starts off slow and then builds up while the cross dissolve is a constant dissolve down I think those are the basic tools you would need for Adobe Premiere just getting started. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to help. Thank you so much for watching. Don't hesitate to ask me if you have any questions about Adobe Premiere. I'm always willing to help. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Kiss, kiss.